I do these kinds of videos every single year where once a new season starts, I like to talk about my favorite eyeshadow palettes for that season. Today we're talking about my favorite palettes for fall. I have a mixture of palettes here. Some of them are fall themed and some of them are just fall tones. So when I think of a fall eyeshadow palette or something that I would deem a fall eyeshadow palette, a lot of warm tones, a lot of goldens, um, red tones, even a little bit of green in there, like a warmer green tone, rose golds, a lot of just warm, almost like cozy colors. That's just what comes to mind when I think of those palettes. So I'm really excited to talk about them. I haven't done a video like this in a minute. The first one I think is inevitable, but it is the Too Faced Appley in Love palette. This is this year's kind of fall holiday palette that Too Faced has launched. I did a full kind of like review on this. I did have done some get ready with me's on it. So um, look it over my channel. This is stunning. It smells like caramel apples. It smells really good. I think that this is a great palette from Too Faced and not all of their holiday stuff is good. This is good. Beautiful tones of like greens, pinks, reds, even just like warmer brown tones. I love so highly recommend this palette I do have every palette link down below some of them are affiliate links so if you do purchase through them I may earn a small commission you don't have to use them but it always helps me out when you do next one um, this is another like classic for me this is the Tarte Man Eater After Dark palette this came out I want to say two years ago and holy fall tones am I right like I love all these metallics in here like Tarte's eyeshadows are low-key underrated. Like I'm just swatching some of these just like beautiful shimmery metallics. They are amazing. Like just so rich and shiny and creamy. They do, especially with the Tarte ones, they do kind of get a lot of fallout. If you use like a glitter glue or if you do your eyeshadow before foundation, not that big of a deal. But if you love a good warm tone palette like this, I would say this one is like one of my top ones for fall. Um, I think it's kind of like a bang for your buck. I love Tarte eyeshadows. <sighs> so good. The next one is the Sigma and Beauty and the Beast palette. I look at this and I'm like, oh, fall. Cozy vibes. I think this is so pretty. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time. I think this was num... No I think this was number one out of all the palettes I tried for 2023. So if that means anything to you, yeah, <laughs> this is so pretty. Um, I love the colors in here. I think Sigma's eyeshadows are very underrated. I think they have a ton to offer in terms of like pigmentation, quality. And I think maybe they, they sometimes go underrated is because they're not really sold in like mainstream beauty retailers like Ulta, Sephora, whatever. I do really wanna get the Little Mermaid one. So I think I'm gonna do that soon. Holy eyeshadow, it's so pretty. The next one, I could not think of like, another palette to start like do this video with without this one like the video would just not be complete without the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. This was a holiday launch and holy smokes. I need to get back into this ASAP because Huda's eyeshadows are so good. Um, I didn't get the pretty grunge palette from last year's holiday launch but I do absolutely love this palette. I think Huda's eyeshadows are very good, especially with these larger palettes that they come out with every year. They're so good. The mattes blend like a dream, but what I like about this the most is that like when you use this palette, like it's a very nice warm neutrally toned palette, so you could really use it for like any occasion. Um, honestly, you could wear any of these eyeshadows for any occasion, not just for fall or whatever you know the makeup really has no rules here's some more beautiful shades this is so elegant you can really like dress it up you can dress it down to a really simple look i think i'm actually going to keep this on my desk so that i use this next one here this is a little more affordable one this is from ColourPop. this is the off melrose palette um, i believe you can still find this at ulta 
this is just a really nice more warm tone neutral palette and some people say that they really don't like the ColourPop press glitters I really like them um, I think they work really good but you have to use a glitter glue with them you can't just put this on with nothing because like they will flake but they're so pretty this is just a really nice everyday palette but you can also like really dress this up and make it just be like a very glamorous palette now, while i hope this is still at ulta if it's not i'm sorry <laughs> uh i haven't like done any like i haven't like linked the palettes yet so i don't really know but ColourPop eyeshadow is one thing it is so consistent the formula is like you know it's always going to be good it doesn't matter what collaboration they're doing what kind of collection they're doing the formula is the same so highly recommend this palette i highly recommend all these palettes so next one is from anastasia this is the rose metals palette oh my goodness i love this i do have like a crushed eyeshadow in here because why why wouldn't i but this is a very like more deeper toned palette it's very it's very rich it's warm it's like very elegant like it's like very, it get, it's giving like smoky fall vibes but like the Anastasia eyeshadow formula especially their newer one is so good I really do think it is unmatched I mean the mattes in here they blend flawlessly the shimmers the metallics like no matter what kind of eye look I make with this I love it I do want to get the fall romance palette they have like this little set that I would love to try out anyways so let me know if you want me to get that one or not. But if you don't have this and you're kind of considering it, like I'm here to influence you. Next one is another Anastasia one. You've heard me talk about this palette so many times. It's the Nouveau palette. And I like this one because I love the greens in here. Like I think green, like these mossy greens are absolutely stunning. And I think that they are so fun to incorporate into a look like oh my gosh these are so pretty and these these shimmers are like so smooth like they blend out really really well um they don't really flake unless it has like a lot of glitter in it and i love it a little more smaller palette um i got this at tj maxx not too long ago so check tj maxx this is the huda beauty nude rich palette this just has rich nudes <laughs> i don't know um it's a very beautiful warm tone palette what i like are these like more like warm i would say rich uh like reds the pinks all of that I think it is like a very glamorous palette. You 100% can like dress this up and make it like very elegant if you're going to like a big event, even like a wedding. This would be a really good palette for. You can also like really dress it down and wear it just for like every day. You can make it really simple. And I know I've said this like a thousand times before, but like um, there really are like no rules when it comes to makeup. So do what you want to do. You know, if you want to wear a really bold eye to work like do it you know there's no rules in regards to what you can and cannot wear this is so pretty excellent i talk about this palette a lot too i haven't used it recently so i need to get this in a get ready with me soon this is the rare beauty give yourself grace eyeshadow palette and i don't really i know you know we hear a lot of people talk about the rare beauty blushes the highlighters um, even their mascara but I don't really think anyone talks about the eyeshadows enough this is a very like smaller palette it's so cute I think that these the pans are kind of like awkward shapes to swatch with <laughs> very pretty they're very light they're great for every day there's a beautiful glitter in the center and the glitter in here is beautiful again this glitter will require a glitter glue don't just be putting this on, you know, on its own. It's probably going to flake. It's probably not going to look good. But man, oh man, for, I think this is like under 30 bucks too. Like, this is a really nice palette. Lastly, I'm mentioning this one because you can find this at TJ Maxx. This is the Too Faced Maple Syrup Pancakes Palette. This is so cute. It's like a little bit different take on fall because when we think of fall, we think of all these like warm oranges and browns and reds and we're getting that, but we're also getting some really fun like greens in here. I know it's kind of reflective, so it's kind of hard to see some really fun pinks 
even a purple like how fun is that i remember i did a full review on this when it came out um so if you want to go check that out you totally can but this is a really cute palette and if you see it at tj maxx um i think they're selling it for like 20 25 bucks i would say pick it up all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on everything. What fall palettes or fall themed palettes would you recommend to me? And what do you want to see on my channel next? You know, I'm I'm here to make content for you. Also, look at this one curl. Isn't that kind of funny? I'm here to make content for you. I really would love to know what you all think, what you want to see me talk about on my channel, and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye!